Hey, this is Lynn Amsterdam from Canada, and I'd like to make an official announcement here in that uh, Vicki Lee has been inducted into the Lynn Amsterdam Hall of Fame. Vicky's music is a uh, good blend of uh, uh, rock country and the blues, and she's got uh, w one heck of a manager uh, uh, looking after her interests. Len, Miss Vicky lays on the Len Amsterdam hotline. Can you take her call? I sure can, Liz. Hello, this is the world infamous Len Amsterdam. Howdy, Len. This is Vicky Lee calling in from Maine, USA to do an exclusive interview for the Len Amsterdam radio show. Very exclusive, I might add. Vicky, can you tell me how you feel about being on my show? Yeah! Good one, uh, Vicky. That old rooster hasn't crowed in uh, ten years. How do you do that? It's this fresh country air that will do it every time. Vicky, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your musical history? Well, Len, I was in chorus in high school and did a couple of solo acts. I really enjoyed music back then, but I got married and had children, and I didn't think I could do both, so I put music on the back burner. But in 1997, I entered Talent America and received Most Stage Presence, Best Personality, and Most Promising. This gave me my confidence, so I then started back into music again. Since then, my mother Laura Smith and I started writing music together. I have two full albums out, Crossing On Over and Touch of Life, and two singles out, Don't Let Us Fall and A Letter Home. I have also performed as Vicki Lee and Company, which consisted of myself, my son Jimmy, and my mother Laura. And then I went out as a soloist for a few years. Then I went as part of a duet act, which we called ourselves Pop and Country, and that was with a gentleman by the name of Stevie C. And now at the present, I am back as a solo act, but also have just begun the beginning stages of starting my own band. I perform out at several campgrounds, nursing homes, and many other venues in my area. Who are some of your musical heroes? I would have to say Winona Judd has always had a big impact on me. I just loved her unique style, her bluesy voice, and the way that she always did her own thing. I truly admire that. I also am a big admirer of Patsy Cline, Tammy Wynette, Trick Pony, Bonnie Raitt, and Melissa Etheridge. Can you talk about some of your collaborative efforts? I have been fortunate enough to work with many talented artists. I am part of three compilation discs. Um, one is America and Friends Salute, The Spirit of America, which is CD1 and CD2. I'm also part of Down East Country Music Association's compilation disc. Um, all of the proceeds to the American and Friends Salute, The Spirit of America, do go to the American Vets. I also recorded Terrence Allen's song, Our Flag, which is also on the American and Friends Salute Part 2. What do you think about the wonderful Wide Web? Well, I think the World Wide Web is a powerful tool, and it opens doors for many of us artists that are trying to be heard. Independent artists are booming because of the web. Strength happens in numbers, and the World Wide Web hits many a folk. What makes for a good song? To me, a good song is something that is definitely well put together, not only lyrically, but musically. It has to be filled with lots of emotion and lots of soul. I love the bluesy, country, rock and feel, especially the voice and emotion that will match it. You consider yourself a country artist. I'd have to say that I am not one genier. I have many sides to me. I am country, country rock, blues, pop, a little bit of rock. I'd have to say, I got the music in me, I got the music in me, I got the music in me. Hey, Vicky, that was fabulous. That deserves some canned applause. Okay, folks, give it up for Vicky, would you? Seems they really like it. Can you share some of your live performance experiences? Well, Lynn, I've got a couple of live performance stories to tell you. At one of my shows, which was held at a campground, I was singing the song, Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. And the next thing I know, a man comes out of the audience dressed as a woman and starts to sing the song. Needless to say, I could not continue the song. I just started laughing and laughing. And everyone else in the room started laughing right along with me. Well, come to find out, this was all planned, not only by the gentleman, but by the whole audience. This next story touches my heart. I was performing at a nursing home, and at the end of the show, a gentleman comes up to me and says, Do you want to know what the most beautiful thing in the world is? And of course, I said, What? And he said, A woman who can speak with her eyes. 
and today I met one who can sing with him. Do you feel that your songwriting will bring you a, a big pot of gold? I don't really know the answer to that one, Len. But all I can say is, hey, I sure hope so, so that I can buy my kids some new shoes. What is important to Vicki Lee? My family is of utmost importance to me. My husband of 22 years and my four boys, who are now uh, 21, 19, 16, and 11, which is, I always call him the baby. He doesn't like to be called the baby, though, anymore. But anyway, Len, they're my whole life. They are so supportive of me and my music. I've heard you find inspiration in a hot cup of cocoa. Okay, Len. Enough about Claudette and her cocoa. For me and my mom, it's a hot cup of Java on Tuesday mornings while we write new material for our next album. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I for one can't wait for your next batch of material. Anyways, that's a wrap. I'd just like to thank uh, Vicki Lee for dropping in. Vicki Lee is on the top of my playlist and should be on yours too. Well, Vicki, I'm going to let you take it out uh, with a uh, little comedy relief. Hey, Len, did you hear that rumor going around about Maine women only having one tooth? Well, I'm here to tell you that I know different. You know why, Len? Because I have two. Oh, uh, yep, that's right. Check me out at www.vickileeonline.com. <laughs>